they should recognise that the World Service and radio and television in general do a great job for Britain at a bargain price. In the area of affecting men's minds, broadcasting is Britain's exoset and her trident. Without the viewer, television doesn't exist. It takes the viewer's touch on the button to bring it alive and another touch to kill it dead. Touch on the button to bring it alive and another touch to kill it dead. Touch on the button to bring it alive and another touch to kill it dead. It's a sense of death. Touch on the button to bring it alive and another touch to kill it dead. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Is it realistic to continue to believe uh, that you will ever become president again of the Philippines? I believe in miracles. If you, if you consider, if people consider that a miracle, then it is a miracle I'm praying for. The corruption issue has been seized on with glee by supporters of former President Marcos, who recently gathered to celebrate the ex-dictator's birthday. <laughs> Babies were brought to the occasion to be christened and given the name of either Ferdinand or Imelda. We want to enhance the name Marcos. We don't want that the name Marcos will be eradicated. We want that name to be continued because it is a symbol of nationalism in our country. Would you go to the Philippines intending to be president? Would you like to be president again? Oh, if you were in my place, what do you think? I was elected legitimately as president. I was taken out of there against my wishes. And um, I am kept here as practically a prisoner. The indications seem to indicate that if uh, um, the trend continues, she will collapse. Now tell me who can take her place. Even from the very beginning, I've been saying that Cory Aquino is too inexperienced, too wanting in expertise to be able to govern this country, which is uh, ungovernable. When you don't have the necessary qualifications for leadership. How embarrassing has it been for you that allegations of corruption are now being leveled against your own family? Well, uh, I suppose that is to be expected when... Uh I have, uh, I have enemies who would like to bring down um, not only my government, but bring me down. So um, I would presume that uh, one way of doing this would be uh, to hit me through my relatives. Have you spoken to your brother about the allegations? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, it's not as if, you know, I don't talk to my relatives. Uh, I do. And, and what did he say to you? Well, uh, not only to my brother, but in fact to my sister-in-law, and she denies uh, the allegation. I'd like to return to the Philippines only because... I feel that I may be of help. No one takes my life away from me. I give it up of my own free will. I have the right to give it up, and I have the right to take it back. This is what my father has commanded me to do. Again, there was a division among the people because of these words. Many of them were saying, He has a demon, he is mad. Why do you listen to him? But others were saying, a man with a demon could not talk like this. How could a demon give sight to blind people? Jesus spoke to the Pharisees again. I am the light of the world, he said. Whoever follows me will have the light of life and will never walk in darkness. You make judgments in a purely human way. I pass judgment on no one. But if I were to do so, my judgment would be true, because I am not alone in this. The Father who sent me is with me. It is written in your law that when two witnesses agree, what they say is true. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me also testifies on my behalf. When you lift up the Son of Man, you will know that I am who I am. Then you will know that I do nothing on my own authority, but I say only what the Father has instructed me to say. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, 
because I always do what pleases him. When, however, the Spirit comes, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears and will tell you of things to come. He will give me glory because he will take what I say and tell it to you. All that my Father has is mine. That is why I said that the Spirit will take what I give him and tell it to you. In a little while you will not see me anymore. And then a little while later you will see me. I have told you this so that you will have peace by being united to me. The world will make you suffer. But be brave. I have defeated the world. Oh, it's a king's son! Come on, come on!